Who's still on beside the again vector? Anyone? What? Anyone still on besides Yig and Vector? to give borders.
Okay, I'm back. Just give me one more minute. Team is so bad. One second. I'm gonna try to make it. Right now, control. Objective Bravo. I'm probably gonna die. I got sniped off the thing from some guy who was on the ground near the tank. Still alive. Okay, that's cool. Spawn on you. Okay, now I'm standing. Yeah, that's right. I have okay, eyes on a hostile agent. Connecting on Tiger. Heads up! Enemy machine gunner west of your location. Listen up, objective Charlie is now neutralized. Oh yeah, you Lurk, I was gonna tell you the uh, the you, did you see Level Cap's video about ten things Hardline does better? Uh, yeah. He doesn't understand that so, when he gets older he is not going to like that. So one of his comments on the video was, Hardline's better because it doesn't have the coyote red dot sight. Which in real life is a terrible trash thing that just gets bent up and broken every time you yeah, try to use it in the field. Yeah, he did a whole video about it, too. But, you know what? He's a fucking hypocrite because he doesn't have to use it. Well, here's the great part. The, the scope that he's talking about. Um... Uh, one of the DICE developers literally asked him after he made that video, like, hey, what did you do? Try to use a paintball version? And he said, oh, the paintball versions are, are just like the normal versions. And the developers just started fucking laughing, because he's been doing all these, like, how sturdy a site is comparisons. Based off hey, of... Hey, here's my airsoft gun. Ball. This is how it's like in real life. What do you mean sites cost more than 50 bucks? Yeah, that was literally the thing, like, dude, you... That's a... 
that's a like fucking you what did you pay for it in airsoft? Oh like two hundred bucks. It's like that's a fucking like five thousand dollar scope in real life. Or it's not five thousand, but it's like five hundred bucks. Holy shit, there was a whole fucking squad crouched down behind that wall. But can't do the daily story mission on the vault because it's fucking level 30. You know, by this time in the night, I should know not to go towards the enemy team. Uh, Atomic Thumbs, we've got room for you over here. And you're definitely not swapping to the winning team. Hello, sir! Are you ready to join Team Fail in some battlefield? Uh, sure. So, if somebody want to ask Embellish Gaming what the uh, web address of his failed YouTube channel is? I don't know who that is. Oh, he's one of the guys on the server. But, do you put gaming in your name? Oh god, I fucking hate gaming. people who do that. You, the only reason they're doing it is because they're they're trying to do, like, level cap gaming and that kind of shit. They, they're, they're searching to be a YouTuber. Yeah, it's working out, yeah, nice. Oh, so what happened to my spawn beacon? I'm gonna have to plant some more right echo now. I think I'm gonna go be a shitty sniper again. Oh, and you, uh, actually, Haggard, I was wrong and you were right. Battlefield 2 didn't have TDM. TDM was first introduced in Bad Company 1. Yeah, it wasn't in Modern Combat. Modern Combat was my first Battlefield game, and it was fucking awesome! It had a weird feel that feels like weird, but it had decent maps, which they never fixed next to which was the ZA. Um, the vehicles were alright, and I think the main thing was it had some yeah. It had something like Rush. There's and four was, like, guys from their team in our out of bounds zone. Uh, Conquest Assault was the big, big game mode for uh, for two. 
being, you know, quite possibly the worst fucking game of the battlefield. Carcand was fun. I mean, return to Carcand. Yeah, Conquest Strike Assault is... Strike it, attack it, return to Carcand. Is it called Conquest Assault or was it just... No, it was Conquest Assault the whole time. Yeah, it's... To this day, the most terrible game mode. And it's coming back to Battlefield 4! But by Conquest Assault, they always just meant Assault of the Conquest, but... With the, um... Yeah, one team has no end cap, and they basically just get like barred. Like 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 uh, a good chunk. Of it, yeah, because they designed a lot of Battlefield Two around Conquest Assault, which is weird because everybody remembers it for Conquest rather than Conquest Assault. One of the reasons I know a lot about these really obscure things on it is this is the only FPS I can play for a long time. Uh, I get motion sick, and DICE is one of the few developers that was that would actually put in uh, FOB sliders and shit like that. Uh, they... Actually, to combat motion sickness, they actually have, what is it, I think four anti-aliasing routines that you can choose from. I really like how Battlefield has a bunch of accessibility options, like the colorblind modes. So uh, I'm looking at the thread on SA, and I'm not really seeing any information on how to play with you guys. Um, all you have to do is add one of the. All you do is add one of those guys to Battlelog Friends or Origin Friends and then just go off the. Uh, one of the guys from the uh, spreadsheet? No, oh. just one of us here. We're, we're just really fucking casual about it. So it's like you friend us that play regularly and then you join we, us. We pretty much always have to clean our friends list, so. There is a platoon, but none of us are on that can play with it. I mean, uh, ten bucks. I, I, I pretty much own ten bucks. Uh, has anyone seen Dario in a long time? Nope. He means the platoon, that's... Spotted an enemy soldier! Good eyes, an enemy soldier! I can approve it. I'm, like, the fucking founder of the thing. I'm the founder of that one in hand, so I can approve either of those. I did just clear a space on my friends list so you can add me, just XYGX. Yeah, yes, it's I a stupid you. name. I added you as, as a rat. Yeah. Uh, 